Hey everybody, welcome back to Clive Barker's Undying Last Time. It was a big one. We uh, we dealt with Lisbeth, finally, after chasing her around for who knows how long. And uh, we got an awesome, well, I assume it's going to be an awesome spell here, this haste spell. We upgraded it to max because we have so many amps in reserve. We still have five left. I guess we could do some other upgrading. Um, and in fact, you know what? Doesn't sound like a terrible idea. There are two ranks that we could we give to Scry still. Um, which might be not a bad idea, but we'll worry about that later. I am just curious if we can um, do anything back in this direction before we go up the, uh, the cliffside and head back toward the mansion. I'm going to guess there's nothing here, but... Uh, Stuck. Yeah, alright, fair enough. So like a little... A little monster on the door? Accosting some young woman? <laughs> and speaking of accosting young women, oh my god. That slap! Patrick was having none Elizabeth's lip. She, uh... Whoop. <laughs> she, uh... Yeah, was spitting just an absolute litany of curses. And, um... Yeah, we burned her face and chucked it down the cliff. Hot head needs cool water, I'm told, so uh, I guess it's somewhere in the ocean now. Anyway, I've, I've gone on long enough about this, so let's... I guess we gotta go this way. For some reason, I was thinking we were going the total opposite direction there, but... In fact, this is, uh... This is how we do it. I see, that's just back into the place we were already at, and this is the uh, the teaching moment for haste, I guess. Baby. All right. I mean, I guess probably wouldn't have been that bad, even at level one. But uh, maybe perhaps easier at level five. Hang on. Now what? <laughs> Am I stuck? Surely not. Hang on. Can I climb this? I can. Okay. I, th I thought I was going up a little bit there. Yeah. It's hard to see the, um, what are these vines, I guess, in the darkness, but, um, there you go. This will just do that and maybe just have this spell on always and forever so we have this washed out screen for the rest of our lives because it's just so convenient to go fast. It does make things a little harder to see, though. I don't think the enemies are any slower, so I don't think we have, like, a bullet time situation. But maybe they do stuff less? Kind of seems like maybe that's possible. No, these bats are still very angry, so... Yeah, I don't... I don't know exactly what's going on there. Go ahead and get some of that HP I just lost back, I guess. I don't know if we can get... Well, maybe I won't get any back. Hang on, let's see if we can get some HP from a bat. Oh. Yes, we can. But not very much. So, fair enough there, I guess. We use a health pack. We have so many health packs right now, too. We're pretty well stocked. Um, probably turn that off, and uh, let's get out the shotgun. I, ooh, yeah, let's get out the shotgun, but I think we actually need to change our bullets out. I think we're okay here. I think we have regular bullets in in the the uh, the pistol, but we for the shotgun we gotta let's go back to the regular ammo, and we'll save our phosphorus shells, which turned out to I mean I don't know they look pretty good. That's for the journal. Uh, yeah, I think we're all set here. All right, let's move on. Yeah, maybe, I mean, I can see why you would want to have haste on permanently, but it does make it a little harder to see. Um, just, you know, stuff <laughs> that might be on the ground, for example, because everything's so washed out. Can't believe I made it out of there. Better head back to the mainland. Okay. Do I need haste for this? I guess not. Yeah, 
And we're back at the, the manor. Okay. Well, I don't know if there's anything for us to do out here. There's a health pack right here, though. Jammed. Jammed. Won't budge. Stuck. Seems like everything's jammed or stuck. Something was watching me. What? Outside, in the shrubbery. All I know is Jeremiah isn't paying me enough for this. I'm leaving. I mean, that's a that uh, honestly, that's the smart move. That guy's going places in life. Um, we did actually already save him once, so I think he. I don't know. Maybe he was just in shock the first time, and it's finally sunk in that uh, this is not where you want to be. Excuse me. I guess those are shotgun shells. Shotgun shells all the way down here. Get him now. Look alive! He's here. Uh oh. That guy's trying to shoot me. He's got jammed. He's reloading. Ooh, they even got the uh the he's reloading. That's I haven't heard that since I played like fear. Okay, he's out of here. Also, he's out of here. Unfortunately, I guess the only place that gardener was going is straight to hell, apparently. Um, I guess I don't really need those other shotgun shells. I don't even know if I can pick them up. Uh, okay. Let's grab that. So we got Trasanti in the mix now. On the, uh, the grounds here. Kind of interesting, I guess. Got a journal entry for... Let's see. Trasanti Brothers. Stranger... Da, da, da. Something about Pirate's Cove. But look who that's from. That's from Ambrose, who's uh, one of the siblings, I believe. We'll have to ask Jeremiah about that, but we do have... Need a key. Right, okay, we need a gate key for that. I just want to double check that this other one wasn't going to open. Locked. No. Okay. Um, yeah, we'll have to ask Jeremiah about that whenever we get to see him. Who knows when that's going to be. It looks like we're maybe headed to uh, the Pirate's Cove now, all of a sudden. Yeah, I mean, I'll take the HP. It seems like there ought to be some statues or something on these. But what do I know? Hang on. <laughs> I don't know if Haste is doing anything for me in the water here. But uh, yeah, we got an amplifier out of that. I would say haste is not doing anything for me. Are we going to get out of here without drowning? Just barely. Took a little bit of damage there, but that's okay. Uh, okay, well. I'll tell you what, since I want to keep five amplifiers. Uh, actually, do I even need five? Maybe I only need four. I guess we'll, we'll keep four amplifiers available at all times. In case we get a cool looking spell. I'm not sure what... This max rank, uh, or max-ish rank of Scry is going to do for us. But, uh... At level 3, at least, we were able to kind of get an indication of enemies' HP totals, it, it seemed like, so... Uh, that's interesting, at least. Alright, what do we got? Out this way. What's inside the building? The old greenhouse, you mean? No one's been in there for ages. When Bethany was young, she used to be quite the gardener. Thank you. Okay, so we got the greenhouse. We got a little info about Bethany. Uh, we do need her key for something or other. Uh, regular bullets. Very nice. Is she just going to hang out? That's fine. Hang on. 
Nope, alright, nothing there. I was thinking maybe we'd be able to see a little farther in the dark. But I don't know, that seems to, be, seems to maybe not be the case, I don't know. Kind of hard to say. Alright, phosphorus shells. Bethany used to be a gardener, huh? You don't say. They're giving me the phosphorus shells, I guess, because plants uh, presumably don't enjoy fire very much. We can give it a try. Um, there you go. We're maxed out anyway. Let's try out some phosphorus shells on some plants. See what happens. Uh, maybe not that one. Kind of feel like there's a... Um, All right. <laughs> uh, thought there was maybe like a bigger one out here, but maybe not. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> not sure exactly what uh, what's going on there. Maybe it's from from that guy. I, I don't know. That is a mana well, though. Can't complain about that. And more phosphorus shells, okay. I wonder if we could uh, use the scythe to <laughs> do a little harvesting of the more traditional variety. Hang on, there's a couple things in the corner there that I missed. So what do, what do we have here? A silenced Aaron. He'll no longer belittle me, etc. Da -da -da, I'm the last of the covenants. So we got a little story from Bethany there. We'll read that later, maybe. Hang on. Excuse me. You were supposed to be dead, I think. Uh, I'll leave those shells there. Maybe we'll come back. Pour them in a bit here. Ah. It's like some kind of like slow spit that they're... They're spitting at me. These things just come back forever, then? Unclear. So what if I go back and pick up one of these shells now? Um, nope, it's still clear. Or maybe now there's crap going on outside. She's still hanging out. You didn't tell me about the man-eating plants, lady. Question is now, where do I go? So we came down from there. Uh, we went down into that thing. We checked all this crap out. Is there another path? Out here that I missed? I don't think so. Um, yeah, I don't know. Seems like we're done here, I guess, and we gotta go somewhere else. Unless I miss something obvious in the greenhouse. Has it got a second story? Doesn't seem like it. Can't, oh, here, I can get on the, uh, the things here. Um... I don't really see anything obvious on the rafters, though. Unless, I don't know, maybe there's something going on with the statue? Probably, alright. Don't use the phosphorus shells, though. Use the, uh... The regular kind would be fine. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't see anything going on with that, so I guess, um, in fact, we are done. With, um... All of this for now. Maybe there'll be somebody waiting for us up here. I don't think I picked up a key. Oh, hang on. <laughs> the kitchen key. How did that get there? Did I just walk past that earlier? I guess I must have. Alright, kitchen key. A 
I wonder if it'll let me go back and uh, try to get that amplifier that I missed with Aaron. Somebody did, did mention that my, my hunch about using the ether trap was correct. So we've been in here before. Hello there. I think we'll just do a little of this song and dance here. Maybe get him one of these. Okay. Interesting. If we we can go above 100 HP if we keep the uh, the scythe special ability active. That's sort of interesting. I don't understand how it works still, but um, I don't know. It is what it is what it is. Seems useful. So that's won't budge. where I came oh. in, right? So that means could maybe Jammed. go that way. No, I guess. Whoa! What the fuck? <laughs> Stop throwing shit at me. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't get hit there. Hang on now. No sh you tell me there's no ghostly shenanigans afoot in here? I don't believe you. Alright, well, we've been here befo before. Uh oh. You can't open that. Alright, let's just dodge the the dinnerware. I've seen strange men prowling the grounds. I don't know where they're coming from. Well, isn't it your job to throw their asses out of here? Okay, so we don't have to go outside. That's good. I want to play around in here for another minute before we try to move on here for reasons such as all these knives are definitely going to come after me in like two seconds. What? What? Can't can't see me. What do, you, what, do you, what do you got? You got you got these knives? No, 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 no. You can't hit me with those. Excuse me while I jump in the fireplace. <laughs> Just in case. I actually wonder if I can shoot those away with the, the stone. Alright, so we got ourselves an extra amplifier. That's nice, I guess. Um, can we explore any further in the house, or do we have to go back outside? There's definitely that there. This is a different guy that we talked, or maybe the same guy. It's probably the same guy, I guess. Jammed. Can't go that way. Okay. So I think that exhausts our options as far as where we can go at the moment. Unless there's a way to go back through the kitchen here. Oh, well, well, we can go back up. So we've got some got some amount of options here. So I guess we have the choice to, like, chase the strange men or don't chase the strange men. Hello. <laughs> it's me. Oh, yeah, and the, uh, damn. <laughs> I was going to say the amplifier was right there. Stuck. Well, that's unfortunate. Would have to go somehow all the way ar around. I don't even know if that's possible. Locked. Okay, we whoops. locked. That's locked. my bad there. We're a little wild with the the mouse for a sec. Um, hmm, anything else in here? Won't budge. So I guess we will come back this way eventually. But yeah, we've already. I guess we can check them, but we've already been in these rooms. So I think we're kind of st stuck. As Patrick so kindly put it, stuck. <laughs> oh. 
I don't know where that's coming from. I saw the stone glow for a sec there. But, uh, yeah, I didn't see no ghost. Jammed. Huh. That is very strange. I don't know if maybe that was there before and I just missed it. Uh, anyway, I think that we are probably done here, so let's go outside. Maybe I missed a, a path, potentially, but... Uh, I don't know. Okay, so... Uh, I think we gotta go this way through here. Probably make this a little faster at this point. And then you go not there. A little too fast for my good. Oh, oh, I see. This all links up like that. Okay. <laughs> anyway. All right. What do we got? Oh, shit. Going a little too fast for my own good there. Hang on. That hurt quite a lot and was not worth it, but I was curious to see how much we can get out of this guy. A bit is the answer. Uh, not exactly. Okay, he, right, he does have six bullets in his gun. <laughs> I'll kill you for your boots, Irishman. As they often do. But hey, we got to see that death animation, so I guess that's interesting. All right, let's try try this again with a little bit less uh, dying, if possible. What the hell? <laughs> I don't know if he did that on purpose, or if I knocked him over by running into him. Oh, he's right. He's, uh, he's going to use the sword on me. Interesting. Oh, there's another one. There he is. Ow. I'm stuck in the fucking water. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, if I get hit by a ricochet, I'm not even going to be all that mad. Because it'd just be an incredible shot. Okay. Who, who else was trying to shoot me there? Not entirely sure. Oh, this guy. There we are. Anybody else up here? No. Okay. So I think that's... Just got to check behind the bushes here. I think that's everything. On this uh, upper section here. Let's see what we got going on down here. Down here? Oh, there we go. Just had to hop over something. Okay, another amplifier. Just handing out amplifiers and dynamite like candy. Right about now, I guess the hint is upgrade thy spells. I do wonder, what is the point of upgrading something like, um... Uh, Dispel. Very curious about that one. Um, I guess we could upgrade... Ghost thingies, but I, I still don't like that spell very much, so I guess I'm not gonna. Instead, let's just look around and uh, see if we can figure out where we gotta go from here. Did I miss something back here? I guess not. Hmm. 
Might as well grab. Grab those. And I can't do anything there, so where am I going? This way? Ah, here we go. So we came down from there, but I guess we want to go up here. Just a random spike on the floor. That's remarkably unsafe. Oh, good. Yeah, never mind. I didn't want to actually do anything useful anyway. That's going to be in a cutscene later, I bet. <laughs> How do I, um... Oh, no, I see. Here we go. Ah, maybe not even a cutscene. Gotta figure out how I... Get off this goddamn thing. Excuse me? <laughs> I don't think so. Unacceptable damage. I guess it wasn't that much. We, we didn't have full HP anyway, but... Hang on. How do I... How do I leverage this into getting on the actual roof? Maybe... I just need a little, little boost from the, from the haste spell? I don't know. I can't, I can't see anything anymore. <laughs> yeah, what is the point of that? I don't know. Like, it seems like I'm intended to get on the roof here, but I don't Jammed. see a way to make that happen. It's just so janky. It just makes me fall off. I go this way. Um, give me a minute to look around, I guess, because I don't. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that. Okay, well, uh, I've been walking around for a bit, and uh, there's nothing outside. I think that other vine is just to, so you can actually get out of the balcony. Uh, but I don't think I looked in here before. There's nothing, nothing we can do with those. I guess we're max, must be maxed out on bullets. Um, and I don't think I, <laughs> I don't think I opened this door before. Okay, so I guess this is probably the way we need to go. Let's see. Oh, you scared me. I didn't think I'd run into anyone at this hour. Likewise. So tell me, what do you know of Ambrose? Ambrose is the family secret they like to keep quiet. Hmm? What do you mean? Well, no one has ever directly told me, but everyone on staff knows that Ambrose killed his father. It's one of those family secrets they don't like to talk about. He killed Joseph? Yes. Seven years ago, in the game room, even the authorities in town knew about the killing, but were slow to act upon it, since Ambrose was such a hellion. Throughout the county, Ambrose was known for his viciousness. Only a fool chose to stand in his way. Alright, getting a little bit of the family gossip, I guess. And uh, we did get a note from Ambrose, so maybe he's next on the list, I don't know. I take it they never caught him. He emerged after months of hiding to claim his inheritance. He barged into the manor and proceeded to take whatever he wanted. By the time the constables could arrive, Ambrose had fled the scene. They gave chase, but he escaped their pursuit by leaping off a cliff. A cliff? Never hesitated for a moment. Everyone thought him to be dead, except... Except what? We'd hear stories of Ambrose sightings for years. In the States, the Orient, even in Prussia. We really didn't believe he was still alive. Until he came back and brought those heathens with him. The prodigal son returns. In so many words. I do hope I've helped you. You have indeed. Thanks. Okay, so, uh, yeah, Ambrose. Rumors of his death have been greatly exaggerated, apparently. It's funny how the lighting changes when you're looking in the mirror there. Unless he's actual, actually like some kind of ghostly shadow butler. Look at those dead eyes, that cold expression. 
I don't trust him. Stuck. Okay, so we can go that way. I guess we're intended to maybe... He's disappeared. Oh no, he, he just went out this way. Sneaky, sneaky servants, man. And we can go that way. Alright, well let's take a sec. We'll figure out where, where we need to go here. Are you alive? You are alive. Figure, figure it's worth a try. To uh, just see there. Alright, well, let's try this door first. Oh, the bar. It's uh, Molotovs on the menu, I guess, all day long. Can I? I haven't tried this yet. No, I guess not. Are they actually Molotovs? Let's see. Um, oh no, that's right. The, uh, yeah, there we go. No, I guess they're just, um, just liquor bottles, maybe? Oh, no, they are Molotovs. <laughs> okay. Fair enough, I guess. Uh, well. Don't think that... Oh, no, hang on, there's a door right... Oh, Never mind. I said there actually is nothing to do here. At least, not right now. Well, let's... Continue down the, um... Path laid before us here. Journal entry, a little bit of a... Hello! Oh, this guy's got dual uh, dual daggers, I see. Uh, just kidding. <laughs> a little bit of a swing and a miss there. These guys are all over the place, apparently. As I was going to say before I so rudely interrupted, uh, this is like the... The, uh, the party pad, the swag corner, the, uh, the, the bound chicka wow wow, uh, bungalow? <laughs> I guess, I don't know, I'm running out of words, but, uh, you get the idea. Okay, journal entry, uh, those are phosphorus shells, I believe, so nothing really I can do with those. Um, alright, well, doesn't seem like I can do a whole heck of a lot of anything else here. Did you see those guys? Probably not. Oh, hang on. There's another door here. That I did not see previously. Alright, this brings us back out to here. I think th this maybe goes to... The amplifier? In, in a roundabout way? Jammed. I'm curious. Jammed. Ah, and these guys are back. Hello? Does that kill them permanently, though? Probably not. Maybe it does. I don't know. I don't see them coming back. Won't budge. Jammed. Won't budge. All right, so nothing. Stop. Uh, nothing here, unfortunately. Jammed. Um. Right, because we checked that. I don't need those bullets. Jammed. Don't need anything there. Uh, what about in here? Stop. Nope, even that's closed. I guess there's nothing else here. Which means, I guess we go downstairs instead. What the fuck is that? We got the floating Medusa heads now? <laughs> oh my god. It's almost dead. Good god. I don't know what that is, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's a spooky critter. Oh, hang on. Why do I hear fire? 
I have no idea what's going on with that, man. Let's get let's get out of here. Uh, maybe this way. Okay, we can go that way, or we can go maybe this way as well. Let's try here. Ah, well, that's the fire. Okay. I remember this hallway. Oh, wait, no, this is where, I think. Isn't this where it led to the, uh, the amplifier? Jammed. Damn. <laughs> Still can't get in. I think that was the room right there. I just heard something. Ow. Oh, wow. Yeah, I haven't tried the scythe uh, with haste on, but we can swing that real, real fast. With, uh, with haste going, which is interesting. Hello. See you in hell. Getting like max HP out of that one. <laughs> Stuck. So where I have no idea where I'm going at this point, man. <laughs> I am very confused about the layout of this mansion at this point. And where the correct way to go is. Interesting, all these bodies and everything stay here. I was going to consider maybe going down here some more. Isn't there something else out here? Yes. But does it matter? I don't actually know. We have not been in here yet. There we go. Put some range on this thing. Okay, well, it's a new area anyway. How am I going to get up there? Oh, hello. Very sneaky, but not sneaky enough. All right, I see a key up there. I'm guessing this is the, uh, hang on. There's a door behind this or something. Okay, well, um, don't try to blow that up because uh, the game just crashed. <laughs> um, instead, let's uh, let's see what we can do about this. So we know that there's something up there. Can I just shoot that key down? Worked on the book, right? Now that'd be too easy, I guess. Um, unfortunately, haste doesn't increase our jumping height at all. Maybe I don't need to get all the way up there. God damn, dude. Get, get your jump. Okay. Oh, we got the pre-ski. Okay, so that did work. But what can I do with the priest key? Oh, hang on. Jump on that thing. Uh, hmm. Oh, okay. I can shoot... I can shoot the amplifier down, but not the key. Come on now. <laughs> Whatever, man. We got the priest key. We got uh, got another amplifier for whatever that's worth. At this point, uh, I guess we'll call it here. When we come back, we'll, I don't know, we'll look around some more. Maybe I'm on the correct path. Maybe not. Who can say at this point? Kind of seems like the game has, uh, you know, it's... It kind of swings back and forth between a little bit of um, open-ended exploration and then a bit of, of like, forced linear paths and stuff. So, I don't know, it's kind of interesting. But anyway, I think our I think it's time for a little bit of uh, journal reading, because we got quite a bit to go through here. So, let's see what we got here. Uh, and uh, let's, what's our objective? Find groundskeeper at front gate. Oh, okay. 
That's interesting. Uh, okay. So Ambrose's note that we picked up earlier, my Trasanti brothers, the stranger must be stopped. Beware, he has skill. Remember the advice from the master in the east. Hence, that general is skillful in attack whose opponent does not know what to defend, and he is skillful in defense whose opponent does not know what to attack. It's like some Sun Tzu stuff. Uh, when the stranger's dead, return to me in the Pirate's Cove. Okay. Aaron's jaw. Uh, I finally did it. I silenced Aaron. He will no longer belittle me or interfere with my research. This has released a great weight from my mind and allows me to pursue my studies in the silence of our ancestral home. As a memento, I have taken my dear brother's jaw. That source of constant ridicule will never again taunt me. His sway over me is broken. Unfortunately, I do not think he felt a thing. The fool was so deep in his stupor, he no doubt thought me a dream. It would seem that I am the last of the Covenants. Since Aaron no longer troubles me, or himself for that matter, I find myself all alone. Jeremiah has not been heard from since he left for the war. It is better this way. I will now be able to complete what was started so many years ago on the Isle. It took well over twenty years for us to accept what we had done. I will be the one to finish the task and accept the legacy of this family. From Bethany. Okay, Ambrose's history. Uh, what I heard makes more sense now. Uh, the man I heard Ambrose attack was his own father. He actually murdered his own blood. A butler filled me in on a piece of the morbid covenant history. The family, townspeople, and local authorities were afraid of Ambrose even after he had disappeared. When he finally returned to the estate, the constables gave chase and Ambrose was able to evade them by leaping from the cliffs to the ocean far below. Their fear of him when alive was nothing compared to the sightings of Ambrose following his deadly leap. Back from the dead, it seems the black sheep has returned. Alright, Ambrose Journal. Oh boy. Alright, my father gave me uh, this diary for my 18th birthday, just as he did for my older siblings. He thinks by forcing us into the same pathetic ritual he undertook as a young man, we will magically turn into responsible adults. Father is forcing me to use my journal. He watches now across the library as I write. Self-reflection self is the key to enlightenment, he says. Rotten tripe. Soon I take leave to travel Europe and the Middle East. I have found my true brothers, the Trasanti. They are a barbaric race traveling the desert in search of battle. They neither fight for independence nor to subjugate. They fight because they hate. They have taught me how to use primitive but powerful weaponry. I return home soon, bringing my knowledge and some souvenirs with me. Let's see here. And this is eight years apart, too. Uh, anyway, uh, we've got... Uh, I need to know what father has been researching all these years. The old man has been negligent of everything else. I must know why this is so. I must know why this is so I will sneak out uh, to the island of Standing Stones to discover his secret. I will need to be careful. The groundskeepers are loyal and will snitch on me if they have half the chance. I am sure I was spotted by one of my father's servants last night. I saw his lantern as I pulled the skiff from the dock. The island was a fool's errand. Old rocks and some barbaric chiseling were all. It would have been worthless if not for a twist of fortune. Not wanting to be seen, I risked the reeves and moored up the coast. There, amongst the cliffs, I discovered a mysterious cove. I am certain it is the hideout my ancestors used so long ago. I am excited to return and explore these caves. This secret will no doubt prove valuable to me. See, today in the bill uh, today in the billiard room, father confronted me about my late night excursions. I did not I did not realize that a stick could do so much damage. I watched as the blood stained the floor and he begged me for mercy. I told the servants that father's heart gave out and he hit his head while falling. My family is shocked. The funeral is tomorrow. Well, there's your confession, I guess. Father always said self-reflection is the key to enlightenment. Allow me to reflect on this day. How could I have saved my father from a slow, painful death? I could have hit him harder. The 
The constable is looking for me. He is suspicious. This may be my last entry in this journal, for I will not be caught alive. Since father's death, all fear has left me. Although the life I know is coming to an end, I feel as if I am about to begin anew. From Aaron. Okay, Pirate's Info. Some things never change. One by one, my kin are dying. This pathetic excuse for a world is coming to an end. I write now only to pass the time waiting for the authorities to cease their search for my body. Looking back, I smile at the voices in my head that always said to keep pirates, this Pirate's Cove a secret. Had I shared my hideout with my siblings, the police would have shackled me up long ago. Instead, I am the hot-tempered Black Sheep Covenant who leapt to his death to avoid capture. Only my childhood companion, Connor, knew of this lair, and he, sadly, didn't share my vision of things to come. Funny, even I thought... Funny, even I thought uh, watching the life pour from a friend would trigger some remorse or compassion in me. But such is not the case. This place is more of a home to me than my father's manor ever was. Long before I took this cove as my own, generations of thieves and smugglers found sanctuary here. Feeling their presence and guiding whispers uh, drove me to unite with the Trasanti. Even the weakest sheep serves a purpose. Let's see. Oh, the day comes close, Ambrose. Covenant. I think that's it. Pirate, uh, priest's confessional. See, Brother Trist Tristram, huh? <laughs> Brother Tristram has been acting very peculiar of late. He has not been seen for weeks, but I remember the afternoon when he began acting strangely. We had journeyed over to the mainland in order to secure supplies for the coming winter. Upon our return, Tristram came to me with a strange black book he had discovered while we were away. It seemed harmless, just a dusty old book with several strange runes etched across the bindings. But I could sense the unnatural power emanating from within. I urged him to show his discovery to the abbot, but he was hesitant. He said he must return to the mainland, to the caves where he found the book. He beseeched me to leave the monastery with him, to embark on a quest to find more relics of its power. I declined and have not seen him since. Lust for power is a most unfortunate vice. The tale above is from a curious document that was given to me by one of the old fishermen in town. I wonder if the artifact they refer to is the infamous Black Book, which is only whispered of behind closed doors in these parts. Supposedly, whoever is, was in possession of this book could gain mysterious powers. Rumor has it that the pirates were a blight on this region for so long because they wielded the power of the Black Book. Perhaps the book wasn't legendary. I wonder if it still exists today. Patrick Kilkin. Alright, there you go. Getting uh, a lot of info. It seems like it's it's uh, it's all pointing to um, to us meeting up with Ambrose next, perhaps. Although uh, I don't think we've seen him just yet. Uh, but anyway, yeah. When we come back, we will continue our our exploration of the uh, the mansion here. See if we can find a use for this priest's key and uh, go from there. <laughs> 